Manchester United were handed a timely reminder of the importance of strength in depth as the summer transfer window inches towards its final throws. United slumped to defeat against Arsenal in their first match of their pre-season tour in the United States, but it was injuries to Rasmus Hojland and new signing Lenny Yoro that were the main headlines. Hojland did well to put United ahead early on but the Denmark international was forced off with injury six minutes later in what risks being a big blow for Eric Ten Hag. And the Red Devils manager was issued another potential headache as Yaro was also forced off with an injury and, like his teammate, went straight down the tunnel to be assessed. Ten Hag already knew a strong summer of recruitment is critical to giving his side the lift they require to eclipse their worst, ever Premier League season to date. And with United still active ahead of the new season, Mirror Football rounds up all of the latest transfers and rumours swirling around Old Trafford. Everton centre, back Jared Branthwaite has been the name on so many United lips this summer, but any move for the England defender looks increasingly unlikely. According to journalist Fabrizio Romano, United and Everton are not currently in discussions over the transfer of the 22-year-old this summer, despite Leon defender Jake O'Brien undergoing a medical at Goodison Park on Monday. United and the Toffees are still thought to be too far off in their valuation of the centre-back, with United refusing to meet Everton's £70 million asking price. Personal terms are believed to have been agreed and Branthwaite himself is keen on a move to Manchester. The Toffees though have rejected two bids. The defender has been offered a new deal to remain on Merseyside, but wants Everton to match the £160,000 a week he would get in Manchester if he is to pen a new deal. With Yoro injured, another potential defensive option is Matej de Ligt. However, despite reports stating a deal was struck with Bayern Munich to sign the ex-Ajax defender, the trail has cooled. Bayern want just over £40 million and appear willing to sell. United though are yet to make an offer according to some reports. United have set a low asking price of just £4.23 million for Denmark international Christian Eriksson. According to Court Offside, United are working hard to get Eriksson off their books this summer in order to add more reinforcements to their squad. The 32-year-old is out of contract in the summer of 2025 and it is not expected he will be offered another deal by Ten Hag. Both Handelect and former club Ajax are believed to be keen on Eriksson this summer. While the asking price is markedly low, United reportedly see Eriksson departing in 2025 no matter what. A sale this summer hinges more on removing Ericsson and his wages off the books so United can bring a player in for the long term. United defender Johnny Evans admitted it's been difficult to see staff members lose their jobs at Old Trafford as part of Ineos job cuts. 250 staff members at Man United are set to lose their jobs at the behest of Newco, owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos group. Many have been at the club for 25 years, leaving morale plummeting around the club. Evans' wife, Helen, has worked at Mutch since 2010, Evans' brother, Corey, was in the United Academy and his father, Jackie, worked as an academy coach at the club. And speaking with the men, Evans said the cuts have not been easy. I had a spell away but have been at the club a long time, Evans said after United's 2,1 defeat to Arsenal in Los Angeles. A lot of people have lost their jobs these last couple of weeks, it's been hard and difficult to see. The new owners feel that's the direction that they want to go. But, you know, it's not been easy for everyone at the same time. I mean, Terry's people you've known for 20 years and I think the timing of it happened when we came away on tour pretty much. So we were all a bit in the dark and I'm sure everything will be sorted out, things will be a bit more clear when we get back. Join our new WhatsApp community privacy notice.